Hey guys, welcome to this video where I will take you for a brief look at one of my favorite events on the island of Aruba, namely the Holland's Anua Fresh Herring event of Café de Plaza at the Renaissance Marketplace situated in Oranjestad. First of all, the shopping mall, which is part of the nearby Renaissance hotels, offers not just nice souvenir shops, but also a cinema and various dining and bar options. This Dutch tradition is organized a few times a year depending on the fishing season in the Netherlands. The fresh herring is then flown in and the local lovers of herring, like myself and my father, will flock to Café de Plaza, which is one of the most popular Dutch cafés on the island. However, this time we got there a little late and were told that they only had one serving left. The herring is served raw and is prepared just before your eyes. Some, like me, like it with fresh onions. One serving is 4 florins and 50 cents, or the equivalent of about $2.50. The predictions about this year's catch were for a fat and tasty herring. After ordering an Amstel Bright, which is my favorite Dutch beer, I proceeded with the hop, or in other words, the big bite, which is typical when eating fresh herring. This year, it was indeed extra fat and tasty, which makes it easily slide down your throat. So is it really raw, you may ask? Well, the herring is frozen and then laid in salt for a couple of days to ripen the fish. So strictly speaking, it is not raw herring, but more like uncooked fish, just the way I like it. Next, I had some fried mussels, but I almost forgot that it will always taste better with my bare hand and dipped in garlic sauce. Afterwards, it was a plate of deep-fried calamari, which is available any time of the year at Café de Plaza. I wrapped it up with one of my favorite dishes anywhere, namely the bami goreng satay, which is originally a dish from Indonesia, and in case you did not know, this country used to be a colony of the Netherlands. First, I had a bite of the krupuk or shrimp crackers, which often accompanies these type of meals. Next, it was the chicken satay skewer, which looked very tasty until I made a mess, unwillingly dipping it first in the egg. The intention is to dip it into the peanut sauce, which I absolutely love, and is also seen as the true essence of this dish. Over the years, the Dutch have mastered this peanut sauce so well that one could say that it has become part of their own culinary tradition. Last, it was turned for the bami, which was excellent too. But in case you prefer rice, then this dish would be called a nasi satay, which is somewhat similar to the Chinese fried rice, but with Indonesian condiments. Guys, let me know if you liked this episode by leaving a comment below. My intention for the coming months is to continue to produce more local videos, which was one of the original ideas for my channel as well. When looking for a name for my channel, I specifically chose Let's Go instead of the word travel because I knew I wanted to start producing local videos at some point and not just travel videos. However, don't worry, travel videos will continue to be a big part of this channel. Last but not least, I would also like to welcome and thank everyone who has recently subscribed. See you in the next one.